Chelsea, and we're going on episode 10 for Iron Man series. Um, believe it or not, I actually made an entire episode 10 progress uh, pretty much video, and what happened is I don't know how I did this, but I deleted it on accident in the recycle bin, and I've lost it completely. And I spent a whole week working on that, so a lot of that progress is not recorded. But um, I got 85 mining in that progress video, and there was a couple other great things, like I've started going to the gym and stuff, and I put some IRL content in it. And unfortunately, it's gone, and it will be quite a while until this video will be posted. But that's all right. Um, I am 1K till my fletching level. And I just wanted to pretty much discuss what happened. That's why it's taken me so long. Uh, oh, there's 91 fletching. So that's one way to start this video. But I also um, have some clips in this video that were in that old video that I was able to recover. So at least that's good, guys. But here we are at episode 10. I just wanted to put this on video because I don't think I've ever gotten more than 140 tiers of guthics. So I'm going on almost 170. Whoa, for the week? Oh no, I think I stopped at 169. Well, that's always a fun number too. Yay, 69. So 169 and um, let's see how much XP that is. 11k, wow, that's actually pretty incredible. So make sure you do your tiers of guthics, guys. Okay, here we are, 82 smithing, very nice. We're going to continue on and see if I can get some more smithing levels. I think right now I have about, let's see, 4 or 3k or, gold. yeah, 3.5k gold ore left and a lot of other stuff. So I'll definitely hit to 83 for the Lumbridge uh, Elite Diary. We'll see if I get anywhere past that though. So I'm about to get 83 smithing, which is pretty good. Give it a little second. There it goes, 83 smithing, and um, now I can make the Shazy and play bodies. I don't think I'll ever do that though, and I can make Admin Claws. I don't think I'm ever going to make those two things, but who knows, maybe one day. Um, so I've got currently 10,000 coal left, and the only thing I see myself really making is this Myth War. Maybe iron, I meant or steel, but probably just gonna finish up this Myth War and then go um, smith it, probably. I don't know. I've got a ton of Myth Bars to smith, ton of Myth Ore to do. I think I'm gonna make them in a darts to get XP on fletching, but we'll see, guys. We'll see. Here I just got 84 smithing, pretty good. Um, actually, it's kind of funny because I've been studying and I've just been like AFK smithing, and it is so nice. Very good skill to AFK. And I also hit 2,045 total level. Um, I'm not sure if anything is on. Ooh, Advent two handed swords, nice. Yeah, but now I feel a little bit better about boosting for the Lumbridge Diary. I hate doing plus fives, but now since it's a plus four, totally think it's bearable. So, and I still have um, about 1,500 Myth Bars left. Okay, so here's what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to build up these air orbs. Um, I have 500 battle staffs to do, and then I'll alchem. And that would be some more some bang. That's like five mil right there in battle staffs. Um, and I'll alk that, and I think I've got some other alkables. But the truth is, man, is I am so tired of doing these air orbs because I don't really need mage XP because I'm 99. And I'm not even sure if it's worth the crafting XP. And it's nice because you profit from it, and I have a whole video on my channel on how you can get great crafting XP and also profit from it. But it it's very time consuming and it really keeps me from doing other stuff in the game. So I'm not sure if I'll be continuing to buy battle stabs as much. But I'm kind of looking forward to training some agility while alking a bunch of uh, my items. I got done uh, alking those um, 500 battle staffs. Um, that got me about 6 mil. So got some money out of that. And I also got 48k agility. So, um, took a good while, but I'm um, glad I got that done. And now my cash stack will be looking good. Right, so I gotta study for a test, so I decided I'd go fishing. 
not because I need the food or the fish and XP, but because it's probably like the most AFKable thing I can do while I study. And I always get the chance of getting the heron pet, which is my favorite pet in the game, so I'll take it. I'm sitting here doing um, Slayer. I'm like 10k till 92, and like, and I found this message. I don't know where it came from because no one's up here, but it says America. And try and join the military and having so much poon, your beep gets tired. What? Oh dear. I'm about to get 92 Slayer. Dang, Slayer's a really slow process, but super rewarding. Yay, 92 Slayer. Very, very nice. Um, 93 will be the pretty much... I need it for a diary, and it's also the highest level slayer monster, which we smoke devils. It's kind of interesting that they don't have any monsters past 93, but um, I really won 99 slayer. It's my favorite cape in the game. Just the red and black is so sick. It's got a, a medium clue casket, and I thought I'd record it because life is like a box of chocolates, and you never know what you're going to get. What the heck? What is that? A banner? This must be like a new update thing that I'm not too... You can't even see it! Let's see. Okay, that's a pretty cool banner, I ain't gonna lie, but I don't think I'm ever gonna use it. I don't even know how much that's worth. Let's check it out. A total 1k. 1.3k. Wow, this is so rare. I got a shield of tap from KBD and I'm not, I don't even have a ring of wealth on. Guys, that's like a 1 in 3k drop without like a ring of wealth on. So that's, that's nuts. I got luck in all the wrong places, but that's okay. Like, whoa, that's, I, that, that's, I've never had a shield left tap without a ring of wealth on. I'm really trying to get a, a, a Cerberus task. I have Abyssal Demons, which is a really good task. I just have not been getting like Kraken or Cerberus or anything that good. Neck rails. Should I I'll try one more time? It's probably going to be something that I don't want. I'm deleting all these great tasks. Hellhounds, bro. Cerberus right there. Okay, I actually got kind of lucky, but let's do some Cerb. A smoldering stone that is the same drop rate as pretty much primordials or the crystal or anything like that um pretty much the only thing i can really use this for is i guess to use on my dragon pickaxe or um, my dragon wood cutting axe but i mean it's not a that bad it's a shame that it's not like the Cajuns or the other crystal but that's okay, at least it's a rare drop. Ah, I just got 92 strength. Um, whoa. I, I didn't catch it in time, and I'm getting wrecked. Oh god. This is what I get for trying to, like, take, uh, to record while doing Cerberus. But yeah, I got 92 strength just from pretty much doing Cerberus, and right after a smoldering stone, too, so... Gain, 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 back to back. Oh my gosh, this dude's wrecking me. But yeah, 92 strength. So, um, still 116 combat. Not exactly sure how the smoldering stone works, but I'm going to go ahead and use it on the dragon axe. It will be untradeable, which is not a problem with me. Oh, the infernal axe actually looks pretty much the same. But, regardless, it's still kind of cool. It has like a little... I don't know, it doesn't look really all that different. Let me see on the side. I guess it's got a little drape down below. I don't think it's any better with wood cutting. Interesting. Oh, okay. Um, the only thing that you need is 85 fire making. Huh, interesting. Hey guys, I'm going to be giving a close to the Iron um, Woman episode uh, 10, and I'm going to be talking about a little bit of my raid drops or my lack of raid drops, it's actually kind of funny. I think I've gone about 70 raids uh, dry, 
which is, and I mean dry as in from saying anyone get a drop, not only me, so it's definitely been pretty rough. But we stopped at Cerberus today at 225. I have 100 left to kill on my task, so we can hope to get something good from that. And let's see here. I have 158 raids. I haven't seen any kind of raid drop since like 95 raid K KC95, so actually probably about 60 to something raids dry from seeing anyone get a drop. So it's not like I'm not doing raids, it's just I haven't seen anything in a while, but that's pretty normal. Um, basically, I'm going to finish up this Serb task and hope for the best. Another great thing that will be coming soon is that I will be soon doing a year and a half bank video update. A lot of people are asking to see my bank. And um, pretty much I was said I was going to wait till the two year mark, but a couple people were saying, yeah, but do an update for your year and a half mark. And so since my Iron Man is becoming a year and a half old around April 20th, uh, I'll go ahead and do uh, progress on my bank video stats and boss log and everything like that if y'all are interested in that. Also on episode... Us, 11. I'm really hoping to get some drops in, you guys. A lot of XP gains here and levels, but not so much on the drops. You know, Smoldering Stone was pretty cool. Um, but that's pretty much all that I've gotten so far. And I got, um, but I've been pretty fortunate on my drops. Um, so we'll see uh, what comes soon. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great one. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you are not a part of the K Jones channel. I love to post uh, IRL videos and also RuneScape content. Thanks for watching, guys.